Pothos plants are very beginner friendly, as they are known to be forgiving of a mist watering every now and then. In this care guide, we will give you all the basic instructions you need to keep your pothos alive. Before you water your pothos, make sure the top inch of soil is dry. You can check this by sticking your finger down in the pot. If the soil sticks to your finger, it's still wet and you should wait a few more days before watering. If the soil doesn't stick to your finger, it's dry and ready to be watered. Here you can see the difference between wet and dry soil. Here are three options for watering your pothos. Pick the one that's most suitable for you. You can pour water over the soil with a watering can or put the plant directly under the tap. Continue adding water to the pot until it starts to run out of the drainage holes. If you have a tray under your plant, or if you're using an outer pot when watering, make sure you remove all the collected water afterward. Never let your plant sit in water. Fill the plant tray or outer pot with water. Let the pothos sit in the water for about 10 minutes. If the soil is moist throughout, remove any excess water from the tray. If it still feels dry, add more water and wait 10 more minutes before pouring out the excess. Fill a bucket with lukewarm water. Lower the whole pot down into the water and stop where the stem of the plant starts. Make sure all of the soil is under the water and the water will start to bubble. Wait until it stops. Pothos plants aren't heavy feeders but regular fertilizing will keep them green and healthy. If your pothos is registered in Planta, we will remind you when it's time to feed your plant. When choosing a fertilizer for your pothos, you can use an all-purpose plant fertilizer that's suitable for most house plants, or you can use a green plant fertilizer that is specifically formulated for foliage plants. Liquid fertilizers are a great choice and what we recommend to use. When diluting the fertilizer with water, make sure you follow the instructions on the package to get the right concentration. Another option when fertilizing your pothos is to use fertilizer sticks or some other form of slow release fertilizer. This type of fertilizer will release a small amount of nutrients each time you water your plant. It might be a good idea to use gloves when you handle them. The number of fertilizer sticks that are needed is going to depend on the size of your pot and how concentrated the fertilizer is. Be sure to read the instructions on the package. Start by moistening the soil. That will make it easier to push the sticks down into the pot. You'll need to add more in two or three months. So if you've registered and planted that you're using fertilizer sticks, we'll remind you when your pothos needs a refill. When cared for properly, pothos plants are fast growers, so it's a good idea to repot your plant about once per year. If you're unsure whether you should repot, here are three signs that can help you decide. The leaves look pale and the plant has stopped growing. You can see roots growing out of the drainage holes. Or water running straight through the pot and not soaking into the soil. Gently take hold of your plant and start to loosen the soil and roots. Be careful not to damage the leaves or the vines. 
If it's very hard to get the pot off, you can gently run a knife around the edge of your pot to loosen it. You can also tap on the outside of the pot with a tool or on the table to remove the plant from the pot. Be sure to take a good look at the roots of your plant. If anything is mushy or rotting, go ahead and trim it off. If you find thick, coiled roots, you can loosen these with your fingers or cut them. Start by adding soil to the bottom of your pot. Place the root ball in the pot so that the plant will sit a few inches below the rim. Don't place it too high or the pot could overflow when you water it. Place your pothos in the center of your new pot and then start adding soil around the plant. Press gently on the soil until it feels a little firm, but don't pack it too tightly. Leave about an inch from the soil to the top edge of your pot. Once you've added enough soil around your plant, it's time to water. Water just enough so that it begins to run through the drainage holes. However, if you've watered your plant close to the repotting, maybe a few days before, you might skip this step and just stick to the original watering schedule. Repotting can be really stressful for plants, and it can take up to a month before your plant is fully recovered. Don't stress too much if your pothos looks a bit sad in the days after repotting. Just make sure you place it in a bright spot that's sheltered from the direct sun and drafts. Keeping your pothos free from dust and dirt will allow it to absorb sunlight better. Here's some options for how to clean those leaves. You can mist your plants by using a spray bottle, or you can place the whole plant in the shower. Just remember to use lukewarm water and try to avoid getting water in the soil. Here we're just using a feather duster. You can dip your pothos in a bucket of warm water and gently swirl it around. But this can get messy, so you probably want to keep one hand over the soil. Dampen a cloth with water and wipe the dust from each leaf individually. Pothos prefer a spot with bright indirect light, but they do tolerate being placed in a more shaded area. Being a tropical plant, they thrive in high humidity, but if you can only provide it with low or medium humidity, they'll be just fine. Best of luck growing your pothos, and we'll see you on the next one.